Hmm, what's that? Good sized tractor, isn't it? It's not mine. Yeah. So, this is what I'm working on right about now. And this thing is a truck. It's huge. So, anyway, so it's having a problem. Thought I'd consult YouTube. Because I have tried everything I could think of. Um, all my sensors are all working. I've skipped over each one of them and it's still done the same thing. Because he's got the simple two point sensors, two post sensors. Um, so I know two people who are, know what they're doing with John Deere's, or at least two. I know Brad's engine, he's got some John Deere's, and I know Crazy JD Kid, he's got some John Deere's. So they might know what the problem is. So this is a 316, as you see, garden tractor. That was a 380, but it's not. Alright, so, this is a problem. I'm going to put a couple parts back on. Uh, I'm put that on. I can stay the way it is. There's neighbor Jim. There's a new Ford. That thing's a piece of crap. He spun out trying to get in a driveway. <laughs> Uh, there's a little snowbank, little snowbank from the plow. Pfft, spins out. Oh, that was hilarious. He's got a Chevy too. See, look at Yeah. That's his Ford, and the Chevy is right there. That's, he got off his son. His son got his license taken away, so he had to buy his truck. Alright, so this is the problem. Is everything screwed away here? Backfiring. the PTO it dies. This thing doesn't light up. These two light up. This thing does not light up and it just dies. Try skipping over each and every little sensor. Uh, Try skipping over the seat sensor, brake sensor, all that. Though the seat sensor is the only one that really makes sense I gotta skip over. I try sticking the wire in here and I got this little zip tie on here. So it drives fine. It drives the hydraulics work, all that. It starts. So, the PTO is off because he told me that there's a problem with the PTO initiating. So, well, I thought this thing might be catching on the engine or something and not letting it turn right or something. So, I took this off and kept doing it. So, that was told me it's electrical. So, yeah. Also needs a new solenoid. Yeah, that's the last on the list, though. So, if anyone has any ideas, anything at all, I'm not, this isn't something I can really cob. It's not mine. I can't just run wires to a toggle switch to the PTO. Because I went on Yahoo Answers and someone said, just to uh, hot wire it to, the, to a toggle switch. Yeah, no. And we have this very expensive snowblower sitting out here. This is a Poland Pro 1130. And this has a bent something. The guy hit something and screwed up on his auger rakes, and now something else is screwed up. So I got to deal with that. This is a different guy. Pretty much wants me to find out what's bent. So I don't see how he can replace an auger rake, but not do that. But hey, so that's the problem. Yeah. Anyone has any suggestions? Yeah. If you have any questions about it, or any suggestions, comments, personal messages, whatever. So yeah, problem. It's got hydraulics too, I'll show you the hydraulics.
it's got the uh, three point hitch with the optional this doesn't have it but it's got the optional uh, uh, PTO back here this one doesn't have it but it's got the three point hitch which is nice yeah which is also tied into the deck lift for some reason and the buy is a little rusty the seats a little ripped it's a good machine though show you all the hardware that came off this thing this is everything to disassemble all this just look at this frame my dad's truck has the same size frame yeah <laughs> there's a gas tank gas tank doesn't seem to be very huge it's not tiny because this is an opposed twin so that thing must go through gas pretty pretty quick but that's a question for the day if you've got any suggestions I'll probably personal message this to uh, Brad's engine and who else crazy JD kid maybe that Donnie boy I might, I might send it to him he knows everything so yeah I mean more medic I'll send it to him too he knows what he's doing alright so that's everything